Yeah, so what do you think about uh, our agency, uh, Angus, in destroying, in ripping down posters from walls and buses? Yeah, it's it's very interesting, right? I mean, I think here, I mean, once again, if you link it to the actual period itself, this would have made no sense at all because, and I also, for me anyway, whenever you're ripping down pa little papers in, in, you know, Assassin's Creed, because this is like a mechanic they've got in there since uh, the first game, yeah. it never makes sense to me because this is not this is not how PR happens, right? It's not like, you know, I now tear down five posters and, um, and you know, the, the whole historical image of this person is just completely wiped out. Isn't that the it's very interesting, of course. I mean, especially with Darwin, who was such a high-profile figure, already in his age, um, it's it's very clear that any sort of uh, pamphleting uh, is still going on uh, with his legacy. I mean, he's still one of those people that is um, hated by uh, well a lot of people in the uh, in the country that I'm living in at the moment, actually in the United States. You know, the the biblical the biblical part of it anyway, yeah. and championed by people. Um, well, that very many people that are in the uh, same line of work that we are in, archaeologists, evolutionary biologists, that sort of stuff, of course. So uh, he's a very high-profile figure, and I think the service that we as agents are providing him is is very nonsensical in this, in this case. And also, I think it goes right against what uh, what Darwin. I mean, I'm sure that he wasn't happy. We had actually a very nice biography on uh, on Darwin that he's um, he was a tormented uh, evolutionist. And I'm, so, I'm sure he he wasn't happy why. Um, with, with how he was portrayed in the media, but I don't think he would ever have uh, gone for these kind of uh, tactics even if they would have been effective. So I think that's interesting. And I also think that gives you, you know, a, a, a very strange idea of, of what is possible to do as an agent. And that is, you know, not at least through these means shift popular opinion. Yeah. And how he was betrayed, you know, standing on the market space. He was like in his late 60s, I believe. So he would have, you know, he wouldn't have done it himself, I think, if he, you know, he'd want it for any reason. Well, here again, we are, it's interesting. So we have this great mind of the Victorian era. And once again, the agency <coughs> that we're providing for this person, so the, his way of uh, reaching out to the rest of the world um, is through physical action, which of course is not so strange with a game like Assassin's Creed, because that's what it's built on. Yeah, exactly. On, on, on a bit of violence and a bit of free running. But at the same time, it seems very... Um, yeah, very limited in terms of what we as players can engage with in this world. And also, it seems limited in terms of um, um, you know, the historical process in this time as well. I mean, uh, would this have been a, a viable way of uh, interacting with the world, of changing uh, the world around it and history by it? Maybe not, but maybe it was just, you know, an idea from the makers of Assassin's Creed to show people playing this that this stuff actually happened, you know, the pamphleting and uh, and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's a, it's a very nice way of showing what actually um, happened. The historical roots of a, of a of a of an idea that's still very controversial, or you know, in the case of Bell, um, uh, an invention that was kind of controversial. But uh, yeah, yeah. But it's interesting how we have to engage with it as players through yeah. violence and a bit of free running. And, and it also creates still this dichotomy that all these, all these we are good, and all these characters that we help are by default good characters, and there is no, like we don't really see the controversy. So we don't see Darwin as or Bell as a controversial figure. We see him as a good figure, as an established historical as figure. As a quest giver, actually. Yeah. yeah. And 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 there is that, and there is nothing else about him. No, that's because you just dropped right in there. Yeah. And yeah. You mean for this specific yeah. quest or generally? No, in general, yeah. I think. And and that removes from from history <coughs> because we that's that's the whole point. Do we discuss single people or do we want to see the entire history? And I think this it's removes from from the agent as well as the the whole process because we don't see <coughs> Yeah, but I think that the makers or the creators Ubisoft here <coughs> actually wants you know, people mm. with a certain knowledge about people then go into the game and then see or find out themselves what is, you know, what's happening there, what is the contradictory or what is the dichotomy between the stuff. And yeah, but this is the um, the good way of looking at it. Yeah, the, the, uh, uh, yeah it's the sort the of... The critical way is if you say, like, 
Well, that's the easy way to do it. Maybe it's a bit naive as well. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like cookie cutter stereotypes, right? Yeah. It's like, how can I essentialize Darwin in, you know, one thing? Yeah. And then it becomes scientific progress. Yeah. And, and then you're an agent of scientific progress by helping him. By helping him, yeah. yeah. Even though now you're no longer an agent of freedom of the press because now you're suddenly anti-freedom of the press, which is like the one thing you were doing yeah. for Bell. And it also limits... It's very like essentialistic. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it limits the, the whole notion of, of role playing of whatever you, you don't it's it makes things quite linear let's say what yeah I yeah it makes things it makes things uh, quite linear because it, it's the it's de facto a de facto moral system yeah you are good what you're doing is good there's no question about it and there's no question that you are going to help Darwin or some of the other main historical figures. Some of them are side quests, I assume, and you can avoid doing it. But it creates a de facto system that even you, you have an agency on affecting all the events and you are the player who does all that stuff. But in reality, it's also very essentialistic. It's very linear yeah. and fixed. You cannot yeah, do so other stuff. This is exactly no. what's going to come out of this next mission. <coughs> um, if we can go back to it, yeah. just to listen to the scene. Cool, let's go first. Usually I would reciprocate the sentiment Miss Fry, but today I'm afraid nothing will bring me pleasure. What's troubling you, sir? I am used to people challenging my ideas. In fact, I live for it, the cut and thrust of spirited debate. Lately, however, attacks against my reputation have taken a darker turn. Threats of violence against my person and against my colleagues. I do not wish anyone to be hurt because of my research. You help me with Staric Syrup. I am in your debt. We help each other, sir. My brother and I will make sure that you can continue your work in peace. Hmm. What do you know of bones? Only a few of their names learned from books. Hmm. Perhaps it would be simpler if I just explained the situation. <coughs> A few days ago, a German colleague, Dr. Schwartz, sent me a telegram. He informed me he was on his way to London to deliver a very important fossil, you see. In fact, he should arrive at Charing Cross any moment now. Would you what? He's having a what's bit of a stroke. <laughs> what's, what's he, he doing? doing? <laughs> He's just having a stroke. It's fine. <laughs> I'll ensure Dr. Schwartz's <clears throat> safety and make sure you get that fossil. Splendid. So basically, he's not against debate, but he doesn't really like. He doesn't like actual physical debate. Yes, unfair, let's say. Yeah, which makes sense. <coughs> it makes sense. Yeah. So basically, this mission comes before the other one we we did technically mm -hmm. in the in the narrative of the yeah. game, and um, the whole point is that. Um, People are no longer just criticizing him, but becoming like threatening and, mm -hmm. and physically violent about it. And he's like, oh, I'm a bit scared. Also, randomly, just so you know, not apropos of anything like being scared, but a colleague of mine is coming in from the train. So can you pick him up with some important fossil bone? Oh. That's like the only thing we know. So we have no idea whether this is animal, human, ancient, yeah. dinosaur... Like, is this paleontology or osteology yeah. or... We yeah, don't, we don't know. This, this is not one of uh, <coughs> Assassin's Creed traits to go into detail like that um, no. when no. it comes to stuff like this. It's... it's um, no, don't drop. this will kill you. But yeah, what? that'll kill me. <laughs> but not if I... Yeah, that's better. But basically, we help Darwin because we... Think it's a good idea, and because he also helped us, right? Yeah, that's basically it. Oh, that yeah. So now we're supposed to kidnap his colleague, basically. Doctor Schwartz. So who is this <coughs> Doctor Schwartz? <coughs> I don't know who he is, but he must be important because he's a doctor. 
Ah, yeah. that's how it works. The doctor said that. In my there. world, it works that way. Look, he's uh -oh. even gold. Uh oh. Uh oh. Golden doctor. So the kidnapping mechanic in this game works that I have to walk slow and very careful um, because uh, there's there's um, yeah bad guys everywhere and they can't come into the circle because then they will see that I'm kidnapping someone and that you're and not the other just bird, walking the, the, close together randomly. Yeah, and, and other people are clearly people not noticing anything. No, clearly. They're, they're like clearly going, ah, Look at them, they're, they're like out. falling into the train tracks. This like, poor oh family. my god, this is, what is he doing? No, don't. Well, was, was this Tia you uh, doing? They are Dr. Sparks. Um, yeah, so all of these people are apparently looking for this Dr. Schwartz, these uh, evil red guys. So but they don't know what yeah. he's what he looks like. So everybody's noticing that you so push him besides the uh, the ones that need to notice it, right? This guy screwed me over so badly in my first playthrough. How you were doing this really in a, a completely different way than I did it. I basically just first murdered everybody in the station, <laughs> and then I <laughs> this is how you play Assassin's Creed, <laughs> Angus. <laughs> So you I know that's you know maybe a bit heavy-handed, but you know they weren't a problem anymore. Yeah, but he's he's gonna be. Oh, oh, what? 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? You what? You what? You. F Darwin's what? fate is sealed. Goodbye, assassin. Kill the imposter. So what? He was an imposter. Yeah, run after. No, 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 no. First double. Did he have a fake PhD? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear, that's fake kill him. PhD. You know we can't allow somebody like that to live. Where is he? Beep boop. Ba 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 back. Beep beep. Ma 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 ma. Um, where? Run! Oh. You, you see Run, the forest. Do you know? Oh yeah. Just just get on. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> I had to make up one. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, well, what's a suitable job? I feel like he's on a carriage. So yeah, maybe. Well, I'm gonna. I'm High gonna. High silver. He's yeah, on and a then I'm gonna. And then I'm gonna. Love him. Just, yeah. just cabbage. My cabbage. My cabbages. <laughs> He's on a cabbage. Yeah. Everybody, who's, <laughs> everybody who's seen Avatar knows that reference. Turn. You can actually drift these. <laughs> you can drift a cabbage. Yeah, yeah. The, you can drift a cabbage. But now I'm gonna ram a cabbage. See. Whoop. There you go. Oh. Bye. Nope. nope. More Still running. Still It'd running. Would be so great if we got your trophy now. That would be awesome. Like during this playthrough, like get the kill him. Oh, 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 oh he got off. He got off. Yeah, because you killed his horse. Oh, that that was perfect. Oh, oh no, 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 he's no, stealing no. another horse. No, 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 that's not happening, Mister. <laughs> you just <laughs> first you have to do the things. Uh, oh, just stabby, stabby. But you don't. He's dead. Oh, he's, we promised. Oh, you need to loot the fossil. <coughs> we promised climby, climby, stabby, stabby, didn't we? So. so he's an imposter, but he does have the fossil. Yes. How? What? Yeah. But how is he an imposter now? Because yeah. he ran away. No, he's not actually Dr. Schwartz, but he somehow had the fossil. So, Cran, for future reference, these are the characters you want to steal. Not, not a boss. Mm, speed wise, <coughs> they're the most fun to drive. <coughs> yeah, you can actually drip the cabbage. <coughs> I shall show you if I have to take a corner, like, yeah, and then you go like, Wee! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Oh, it's here. Like here. Wow, what that post. Yeah, post. What you gonna do, huh? Um, so, yeah. Uh, oh, let's listen to what he says. Alright. Speak! So we've got another uh, public destruction uh, question here from the Professor Dr. Jir. Does your destruction of public amenities uh, matter or do they respawn? So as, it, as in, does it really matter beyond the trophy? Um, no, it, it all respawns. <coughs> that lamppost probably by the time of this, the end of this conversation. I don't know if it's still there. <laughs> Somebody, but you know, they were very industrious in industrial London and they just mm -hmm. fixed it right away. 
There's these, but there's these nice tooltips. Like yesterday, there were there happened to be a tooltip on um, that they had lamp lighters at that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, people running around. Uh, oh, this here one. it comes. This one. So the lamp lighters <laughs> carried a ladder, climbed up, turned <laughs> stuff on. That's agency right the here, man. So they you had to like it and it do that every day in the evening and every day in the morning. That is such a... We should go back to that. It would create <coughs> so much jobs. Yeah. It was, it's it's a, a job my, opportunity. My favorite, my favorite job from this era is the knocker uppers knocker upper, which if anyone has seen um, QI, Stephen Fry's show QI. Yeah. So basically at this time, people have to work in factories and they have to get up at times that they wouldn't normally wake up on to like in biorhythm, but they didn't have alarm clocks. Yeah. So they would be knocked up or woken up by people called knocker uppers who would like tap with really long poles on their windows. Oh, yeah. oh, nice. But then the knocker uppers in turn had knocker uppers. So you had no the knocker upper, knocker upper. So who woke the knocker upper? No, but who woke knocker the knocker upper. upper, knocker upper? Yeah. But people who hadn't gone to bed. It's knocker uppers all the way down. Oh. <laughs> Ew. Oh yeah. So, so yeah, that was that, um, that was interesting. That Thank was you. Uh, the Dar the Darwin. That, <coughs> it's interesting that the, the last dialogue thing he said was like something about you know not scientific knowledge belongs to all of us. Blah 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 blah. So basically, that's by a hot topic you even today. Intercepting the person who stole the fossil from the actual Dr. Schwartz. It's like returning the fossil back to like public knowledge instead of being stolen by people who would keep it to Probably themselves. Sure. I mean, we as value are very big on public knowledge actually. What do you guys think about private collectors? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> like, like, uh, well, maybe we should, maybe we keep that for another stream. I'm, not, an, I'm not an expert on the topic, but is this, a, is this a sensitive issue between, in, I think in, in archaeology? We might, we might discuss yes. this theme when the new Uncharted game comes out yeah um, for sure i think that might be a nice it's thing. a very good question though yeah. no Do but in principle if you think about either archaeology or art or history like uh the division between say museums and private collectors <coughs> i mean that's a whole bucket of <coughs> um because obviously a lot of times for instance Ooh, private carrots. collectors <coughs> may have like a lot of funding which means that they can really take care of things yeah. but on the other hand maybe maybe they don't maybe they just have it hanging somewhere and no conservator has ever looked at it maybe well, no one outside of their family of the, um, will ever see it in historical process of, of uh, science of course these uh, private collectors were hugely important still in the Victorian period as well for actually mm -hmm. kicking off um, you know, our field of study, lots of other fields of study as well. I mean, if these people didn't start privately collecting, there wouldn't have been some well, of the big museums you see like today, like, of course, uh, well, mostly uh, most of the national museums actually that are now national museums uh, all come from private collectors yes, from right. this period, lots actually, of which is not really of important. Thing, but it's, a, it's a point. So, but uh, maybe back to Darwin. What um, what sort of historical agent uh, is Darwin here in this in this last mission and also in the mission before? What what have we learned about Darwin Personally, and his impact on the world? As 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 a non archaeologist, I felt like he had a more a bit more compelling story than than Bell. To be fair, Bell being just you know the inventor and the guy that gives you cool stuff, basically a glorified Q. Whereas. Um, I felt like Darwin already, maybe not preached, but um, told us a bit more about his beliefs and what he thought. And I, of course, have no idea in, in how far this is historically relevant or correct, or if it's true what he says. Um, but I felt like the story, and, and I, I, th I just felt like he was a, a, a stronger um, agent when it comes to uh, <coughs> history. Because Bell in, in, the, in Syndicate, Bell is more like almost in your service in the game, right? Most mm -hmm. of what he does is inventing stuff that you can use, gadgets, b smoke bombs, etc. While Darwin, I mean, he's already an established scientist, etc., etc. 
um, which is kicking up a storm, and you're just sort of protecting his name. So yeah. you're less important to him, like, and he's more of a an actor in his own sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Wait, what? Did you just, just did blow just up half the market? This is not. Uh, I'm not going to make that reference. No, no. What Go, did you do? Were those bananas? I threw. I threw a a, a voltaric bomb. Basically, it goes like. Can you go get back to the bananas? Are those bananas? Hey, horse! What's your problem? God damn it! Stop! Stop killing the random <laughs> stuff, dude! But Are the these horse. bananas? What's annoying me? Go to uh, bananas. No, not that. No, no, they're flowers. They're flowers. <coughs> let's let's move to the okay, next. Okay, let's question. go to Mark's. Yes, because we, before we uh, yeah. <laughs> big slide down this path, oh, and uh, this was like the the PG uh, eighteen. Uh, you know, if you <laughs> want to be violent, can <laughs> I recommend another? Let's I have to stealth the kill guys. stealth kill the the. The you know, Jeremy has just been an agent of his, uh, his scientific progress. Now he needs to be an agent of chaos again. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Look at everyone running. <laughs> What's like, happening over there? They're like just <laughs> the carriage. It was ramming someone, and <laughs> I love as games side, like this. As a side, I, I swear mean, to God. it's interesting. I think that the Syndicate is a really enjoyable game, much more so actually than the, the, the maybe the couple of the games. But there's less before. randomness than at, as in, for example, GTA. Yeah. GTA is hilarious when it comes to random stuff happening. But anyway, like, like, look at this yeah. wheel here. That's because of you. Because yeah, but here it feels like it's it's all because of bugs and glitches. Yeah, the other wheel yeah. is standing. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. but anyway, let's let's, 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 move, go, let's to go to Marx. Let's, let's let's move on to another uh, agent, <coughs> a historical actor that we uh, are gonna be. Uh, yes, Marx, please. Le Marx. Right. So we we are going even more con- controversial <coughs> as we proceed. That's the that's the drill. So, we're going to play. We're going to play. Vox Populi. Yes. Vox Populi. Which is. Um, Karl Marx is giving a speech. Um, basically, the, the build up to this event. Um, you start. You, you meet him, and he starts. Um, he's talking about um, rallies that he's having with people, but that he's having trouble. Uh, with gangs and stuff that try to intervene or stop those meetings from happening. So basically he's already working with the working class um, and and basically preaching his beliefs and and um, well I guess that could be counted as Marxism then, or is that not what it is? Mm-hmm. Sorry I'm not the archaeologist here so <laughs> um, and the build up comes to this <coughs> sort of climax, <coughs> hence that it's mm-hmm. the final mission, um, where he finally gets to talk to the people, hence Fox Populi. Um, but he's worrying that the rally will be a target for violence. Um, so basically what we're doing is we're playing the bodyguard. Maris is playing the bodyguard. Uh, yes. Or at least he's going to try to play... And I'm going to fail miserably, probably. Yeah. Thank you. No, that's fine. Just yeah. you know, so our <laughs> viewers can also enjoy anticipate me failing. the failure. Okay. Well, what I thought was really interesting about this mission is Should that I some buttons? <coughs> just um, run and press, and press. Squares kill stuff. Okay. What I think is really interesting about the mission <coughs> progression with Marx <coughs> is that it kind of shows him as becoming more of a popular figure. So in the beginning he's having really secret sort of basement meetings with sympathizers, like really underground. You have to go around tell people like in secret code when the meeting is, etc. and they show up. And hopefully the police don't. And then now at the final mission he's like speaking at a public platform basically. Um, Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see what he says. They close your ally. Yeah. So your ally is the blue. blue blue dot on the map. Yeah. And you need to stay close. Is that him? 
Strike breakers, maybe. Yeah, right. you can and have a look a at it. Classic German accent. Yeah. I don't think he had his beard by then. He didn't look like that by then. He's probably younger, right? Mm, should be probably right here. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Well, he actually says uh, wunderbar. Wunderbar. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <coughs> hide, hide the body in the hiding spot. Don't kill any policemen. Those are bonuses. Okay. So you don't have to I do those care. necessarily. I, I don't care. But, yeah, but you, you can actually <coughs> listen to this whole speech if you just go and stand there. Yeah. Go. So go and stand there. Yeah. And then fail the mission. <coughs> All right. There he is. You can be detected. Just mm -hmm. saying. Did they kill the blue ones? <coughs> oh. No, you have to kidnap the yellow ones without being seen. Okay. And uh, how do I do it? Let's try to shush because he's still talking. No, nope. no, yes. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Now. So Karl Marx is giving a speech to the working class, obviously in London. Yeah, don't walk into that red guy, or he'll, or you'll be seen. No, also, not into the police. Yeah. Slow down a bit, then you, the circle becomes smaller. You see? Yeah. Um. At one point. Uh, I was away for a moment. What are we? Um, at what are we doing? And who are we doing it for? You can knock him out here. Yeah, just keep him. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you just toss him into a ditch. <coughs> Whoops. I yeah, that I, went wrong. I think I failed. <laughs> yes. Yay, failure. But it's the but first failure in the game, actually. Uh, but through Vincent our playthrough, don't and but of Vincent course don't it was to knock him out. Yeah, but well, knock, I there's actually a way to like knock them out, which is not the same as shoving them into a ditch and breaking their I neck. I just pressed the knockout button. Everyone knows, except for... Then it was, then it was correct. Then it, 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 I, it, what it, yeah. I just pressed circle. It said yeah. knock out, and yeah. I just knocked yeah. them out. <laughs> for good. Well, so no, uh, it wasn't that... Again, bad, so what, uh, what are we doing here? I was away for a moment, <coughs> and who are we doing it for? We are uh, assisting Marks. Um, the man who needs no introduction. Groucho Marx? Karl Marx. Karl Marx, alright. Who's Karl Marx, sir? Who is Karl Marx? Herr Karl Marx. Wait, I'm, I need to focus. I, I need to focus. Well, I mean, I'm sure that other people also know who Karl Marx is. We all done archaeological theory. Yeah, so basically, what's interesting is that if you actually look up the speech that you can vaguely hear in the background, um, while we're doing this mission. It's completely written out. You can find it on an Assassin's Creed wiki. Um, so the whole speech is kind of a condensed, slightly edited to avoid any plagiarism software uh, version of the inaugural address Marx held at um, the some workers party. Out of, out of um, you. In was it 64? Really? I can't remember. Yeah, I looked yeah, it up, but more You're or less accurately zone. then. You see the circle yeah. on the map? That's enough then. <coughs> and um, so a pass. lot of this... Oh, yeah. It's uh, 1864, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of this speech is about um, how industrialization um, was sort of like sold to the working classes as a way for everyone to improve their life standards, but in reality like the upper classes have just been reaping all the benefits and that you know now is the time for the workers to unite and etc to rise against uh, so for some reason everybody's running yeah i feel like something has gone wrong again but but <laughs> but but not me i not on your screen so continue mm. yep. Wasn't this the second one you're extracting? The world is in a fail state, but Ares just keeps on pushing forward. <laughs> Nobody's yeah. listening to him anymore. Yeah, just he, stab him. There. Just stab the guy and, and toss him in the water or whatever. There we go. 
All right, all right, all right. Yeah, no. See, what? There's, it's, it's being buggy. It's, it, what? The mission is buggy. Oh, all right. Defend Marks. Go kick, go, go kick those asses. Marks is to the left on the platform. You need to make sure no one kills him. 